Yo, what is going on guys, Enkuj here, and today I'm going to be showing you a guide on how to get the Kvostov Exotic Auto Rifle. For those of you who don't know, with the Rise of Iron expansion, this particular weapon became an exotic, and there's actually two ways of starting off this quest line. The first one that I'm going to be showing you is by simply dismantling your white year one Kvostov that you may have in your vault. Go ahead and dismantle it, and you will get an exotic Kvostov prototype right away and that will trigger the quest if you can't do that there's also another method so do not worry this method takes longer but might be the only option for some players. Head to the Plaguelands Patrol and kill Hive Brood Mothers because they have a chance of dropping Splicer Intel Relays. You absolutely need to get one of these Splicer Intel Relays because as I'll show you right here you have to make your way over to the very first part of Destiny with all the broken down cars. It's pretty much the very first story mission when you bought Destiny. So make your way over there and you're going to notice that the door is actually blocked. What you need to do is insert one of your splicer intel relays into the terminal to the right of the door and that will open it up. Make your way through the tire zone, go outside, go into the catch and then you will actually find a bunch of enemies as well as a pilot servitor. Once you kill this pilot servitor, which I guess is kind of like a boss, a chest will spawn in the very right corner of the room as you can see on screen. What you're going to want to do is open it up and inside should be your Kvostov schematic. That is a second way of doing it, but regardless, if you dismantle your Kvostov or get it from the chest, both will lead to the exact same thing. Once you get the Kvostov schematics, what you're going to want to do is talk to Shiru in the Felwinter's Peak social space, get the exotic quest from him, and he's going to tell you to gather a bunch of items. You're going to need three weapon parts found in the Plaguelands, more specifically the Cosmodrone. The first set of weapon parts is going to be underneath this staircase in the exact same area where you initially got your ship, the very first one in the Destiny storyline. The second one is on the way to the Sepix strike it's going to be right in this corner all you have to do is walk over it and uh, it is right there just sitting on the floor once you get that second piece continue on with the sepic strike and before the tank what you're going to want to do is fall down uh, right after that house and they're going to be laying right here on the ground and that is all three of the weapon parts what you need to do after that is collect 10 out of 10 manual pages for the Kvostov now this is much easier all you have to do is go around the plague land slaying absolutely everybody now these manual pages drop randomly so don't think you have to kill one specific type of enemy because as far as i'm concerned they will just drop randomly it took me about 30 minutes to get all 10 of them pretty simple stuff again it all relies on rng then you want to go back to the fell winter's peak social space talk to shiru and he will give you the final step which is we found a rifle complete a mission called a Kvostov Rising. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like in the directory and once you're done with that mission you get the Kvostov. It really is that simple. Make your way through this mission like you were to play any other Destiny mission and once you get to this captain you pretty much have the Kvostov. Go ahead and slay him with your entire team and at first I thought I got pretty lucky with my three coins because this guy ended up dropping an exotic engram but it turns out all you have to do is pick it up and it automatically turns into a Kvostov. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see right there, we got the Kvostov 7G-O-X, or that might be a 0X, I'm not too sure, but that is going to do it for the video. This weapon is pretty diverse. I really like how many different options and builds you can use this thing for, and uh, I feel like it's going to be a Crucible Beast. Definitely stay tuned to the channel because I will be doing a Crucible Live commentary with this thing in the very near future. I have a very funny hunch that this thing will be a beast. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, consider dropping that like button, subscribe for more daily Destiny content. Have a great day, and I'll see you all later. Peace.